One question I hear time and time again from my students is, why do I need to bother learning how to make different kinds of tables? And this question, this uh, example here, I think is an excellent sort of illustration of that. <laughs> Let's take a look at what it says. It says that monthly rainfall in millimeters for Beaver Creek origin, or Oregon origin, Oregon <laughs> was collected over a five-year period. And the data is shown below. We're supposed to display the data in a histogram. Now, naturally, we could just write the numbers down, and then why would we need to bother putting it into a graph? Because we could just look at the numbers to see what that data looks like, right? Well, let's see what the graph, the data looks like if it's put into just a list. Wow. So we have 41.1 millimeters one month, and 254.7 the next month, and 91.6 the next month, and so on. And we can see there's a lot of data here. But it doesn't really mean much of anything. It's just a series of numbers by the time we get all these things just crammed together. This is why we need to be able to put things into tables. And sometimes it matters what the table looks like or what the zoom level of the table is. If I take all this data here and I start collecting it into groups, let's say I collect um, each of the numbers into a set of, I don't know, 25. Maybe, it's, maybe we even do 50. So let's say we take all the numbers that are from 0 to 50, and we put them together. And then we take all the numbers that are from 50 to 100, and we put them together. And then all the numbers that are 100 to 150, and put them together, and so on. So we can kind of group what's here and see how much data there really is. If I do just that, and I put it into a table, or put it into a graph, this is what I get. Let me get rid of the numbers there. There we go. Between 0 and 50, I actually have a total of 6 and 8 or 14 uh, different ranges or different, different months that had between 0 and 50 millimeters. Between 50 and 100 millimeters, looks like we had a total of 9 and 12, 21 months. So we can see the data is much more useful here uh, by zooming out a little bit, sort of collecting it all, and then grouping things together. If I put individual bars even for the individual heights, I'd have this group of a bazillion different heights, all these bars going up and down at different heights and different levels, and they wouldn't mean much at all anyway. So even just putting something into a table doesn't mean a lot unless the table is really the right zoom level or the right ratio for what we need. And even this one, though, it's as I was reading it to you, I was kind of subconsciously, and maybe it was consciously, grouping these things into sets of two just because that's where the numbers are on the bottom, and 0 to 50 seems like a pretty good ratio anyway. So what happens if we zoom out even more? What happens if we take this same data and we make our groups be, maybe it's 0 to 100, maybe we make our, our things by 100. So we take all the data from both of these bars here and put them together into a single bar. What would that look like? Well, if we zoom out and take a look, that chart looks like this. So now we have the same data again, but we're sort of combining all of our numbers. Remember the first one was 5 and then 8, so we had 13. Well, here it shows those two things together into a single group. So we had a total of 13 months where the rainfall was between 0 and 50 millimeters. And then we had a total of 21 months right here where the rainfall was between 50 and 100 millimeters. And then we had a total of 13 months where the rainfall was between 100 and 150 millimeters. So now we can see this data makes a lot more sense. It's a lot more usable in this format than it is in this format here. Even though the data is all here, it's very accurate. The numbers are there. We could certainly do a lot with them if we were willing to take the time to line them all up. But by looking at them in a chart, looking at them in, a, in the right chart, in this case a histogram, we can make use of that data a lot more efficiently and spend a lot less time playing around with it trying to get something helpful out of it.